Hook up, hook up. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Listen to that. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wally Outdoors. Pretty excited today. I'm getting back out in the kayak for the first time for the 2020 season. Pretty stoked. I got it all loaded up. Not sure if you guys can see it back there, but she's all ready to go. So, what I'm doing today is I'm going to hit a lake that, um, it's a, a lake that I've never hit before. Um, it's a place that I want, I've always wanted to try. A good friend of mine recommended it to me, said he's done really well in there in the past. So I'm going to go over there and check it out. Uh, they do stock this place with trout, so I'm going to be able to mess around with them a little bit. But my primary target today is going to be uh, large and smallmouth. Uh, I know there's a lot of pickerel and big pickerel in this place too. So we'll see what happens. The water's still cold. Um, I'm not expecting a lights out day, but you never know. This time of year, it could happen any day, especially when we got temperatures like we're going to have today. It's going to warm up pretty good. So it's a deeper, little bit deeper wadi, uh, body of water. So I'm uh, not sure what we're going to start out with today, but we're going to we're gonna see what happens. So stay tuned. We're going to be on the water soon. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to show you what I'm doing today. Um, now that I've seen what the water temperature is, which I can hopefully I can show you. You guys can see this. Might, might be tough with the glare, but it's uh, water temp's only 39 degrees, just under 40 degrees, very cold. Um, I'm seeing a lot of trout on the screen here, I think. That's what I'm seeing, so, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to focus on that, see if I can't get some of these trout. I, basically, what I put on is this little swim bait that I was having some success with up, uh, up in Maine. I caught a salmon on this a couple weekends ago. So I'm gonna work on just throwing this little thing. I know the trout will eat it, plus the bass will eat it too. And uh, going small this time of year is the best thing to do. So let's gonna give this a whirl for a while and we'll see what happens. Just gonna fish it really slow. Just gonna uh, just let it fall down the bottom. When I think it's close to the bottom, I'm just gonna kind of rip it up and just keep letting it fall. That's basically how I'm gonna fish this. So something should eat it. Um, at some point we might get a bite. And if I do, we'll be right back at you. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so as you can hear, the wind is kicking up here. Um, I did not get anything on that, which really surprised me, that uh, little tiny uh, storm swim bait there. Um, so I switched over to a crankbait for here for a while. I was fishing some of these off offshore humps in about anywhere from uh, 10 to 16 feet of water. And uh, it didn't pan out either. So I decided to, uh, you'll see me switch over here in just a minute to something else. All right, guys, so you'll see me here. I'm looking back and forth at my graph. And at the same time, uh, I'm going to explain here what I'm doing after I catch this fish, too. But I'm watching some fish, the schooled up fish on my graph here, on my fish finder to my right. And you'll see me look down at the graph um, just before I, uh, I hook this fish. Oh well, guys, caught me a white perch. Hit the hit the uh, rattle trap. That was pretty cool. So I got a white perch. I just got to get him out of the net here. But uh, yeah, that's exciting. A lot of casts and nothing bitten today for a while. So let's get him out of the net first. He ate it really good. Sucked it right in. I see a whole bunch of schooling fish on my 
graph over here. Let me get my pliers, guys. So I've seen a bunch of schooling fish on the graph, and, and that's what was going on. So there he is, nice little white perch. Nice little white perch there, guys. Nice little white perch. Not too shabby, guys. <laughs> what do you think of that? I'll just let him go. See you, dude. Well, my day is almost over. I spent a lot of time with the crankbait, nothing bit. And I put this little, um, I'll show you right here in a second. Put this uh, rattle trap on. And it seemed to do the ticket. I got bit right away. Second cast. So I'll show you what I'm throwing here. If I can get it out of the net. Boy, I'm batting a thousand here. Treble hooks and nets are never fun. Here we go. Alright, so yeah, I'm just throwing this little uh little uh lipless crankbait. If that's what you want to call it. Rattle trap, lipless crankbait. And it seems to be working, so. It's a Booyah product. So let's throw it a few more times to see if we get another fish. Pretty windy out here today, guys. But where there's one white perch, there's several more. And I can see them on my screen here, so. Hey, I don't mind catching white perch. The water temperature is so cold. These fish are really docile right now. But if we can get them to bite, we can catch them. Basically just letting that lipless crankbait sink until I know it's kind of close to the bottom. Ripping it up. And they see that, and they like it. So. Well guys, it was uh, just as I expected. Pretty uneventful day. Uh, it was nice to be out here on the kayak. Uh, beautiful weather, I mean. It's gorgeous out here. It's gotta be close to 60 now. And it's pretty calm. A little bit of a breeze today. I was getting blown around for a little while, but as you can see, it's, it's not too bad out here. So, kayak's performing well. It's doing its job. I did a little bit of upgrade and I got a new net, guys. So that's all ready to go. Um, I, made up some mounts for my gopros and stuff I got this one here and uh i made a light bar for the back so when i get out early morning or at night to uh make sure that i'm within the law i have my light in the back and uh yeah that's about it you guys probably didn't see the fish finder much but i showed you some of that today and uh yeah i'm excited it's only you know it's the first week of march here and it's it's going to be slow for a while the water temperature, as I'm sitting here now, it's still only 38.7 degrees, so that's really cold. These fish aren't going to start doing much for another couple weeks, as far as moving up on, um, you know, getting ready to bed and do some spawning. So it's going to be tough for a while, but maybe I'll concentrate on trout. I did catch that one white perch today, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to continue after them and uh, see how it goes. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please think about hitting that subscribe button and notification bell so you can see my future episodes. For now, I'll catch you on the next one. Take care, guys.